I think it's important to highlight the fact that when Arlene was the Minister there was an underspend in this scheme and the steps that have been taken since Arlene ceased being a Minister demonstrate that we are committed to fixing the problems that arose in the scheme, which is more than can be said for the opposition parties who voted against closing it. Well, if it's a choice between Mike Nesbitt and Arlene Foster, it's like a choice between Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn, and there's no, there's no contest there. There's only one winner. I think people can see bandwagon Mike for exactly what he is, which is a political opportunist. Nothing like £400 million has been spent. Uh, there has been money that has been spent in this scheme, and I think it approaches, from a Northern Ireland perspective, roughly £30 million. Now, those who are criticising us are the same people that spent £40 million on a road that they didn't build, who spent £6 million on a ferry that doesn't work, and who voted last year to keep the RHI scheme open without any reform or without any change. And I think, given their record, people in glass houses really shouldn't be throwing stones. This is the biggest financial scandal in the history of the Northern Ireland Executive. Probably two and a half to three times worse uh, than DeLorean was all those years ago. And while the First Minister has been arguing that it is a matter of detail uh, that she should not be held accountable for, uh, we now discover that back in February, the Head of Energy in her department uh, made clear to the Committee of Enterprise uh, that she had made a policy decision not to bring on the cost control uh, known as digression. And it is exactly because of that uh, that we now face a bill over the next 20 years of £400 million. And on that basis, she has to consider her position.